hello everyone welcome back to the channel and today in this video we are going to see how we can do a self qc what are the things we need to consider while doing a self qc why it is important to do a self qc by yourself before you publishing or before you submitting your shot for review let's get started so you can see uh, i have this comp here so i'm going to demonstrate the things you need to consider uh, when doing a self qc and what are the key points you need to check when doing a self qc so i have this comp this is the full cg one and i have uh, another comp with this one so this is a king shot this is what i did in the past so this is just a checkerboard but but i want to show you the qc thing what we need to do how to do it properly so before i started in nuke and show you the the self qc thing and how to you know solve uh, some of the self qc issues if you are facing i want to show you a graph which i added uh, some points so we can take a look together so you can see so the, uh, this is the graph i made uh, and called self qc and in this one i will show you some of the points you need to consider you can see the points are written here i will quickly explain these and inside we have many many things so i will so we will talk about this one first so you can see uh, first is project setting so this is the one of the biggest thing you need to check uh, when you you know starting a shot or after you you know rendering a shot and then you realize oh uh, the project setting is not correct so make sure you always uh, check your project setting and let's let me zoom in a bit so i can show you what what we have inside so if i open this thing obviously when you are checking your project you need to check the resolution fps and the frame range so most of the case uh, the resolution and the frame range we set but we sometimes we forgot to check the fps so what happen is you are not going to get always 24 fps plate always have to check the fps what is the fps of the uh, plate and set it properly here in the project setting so this is the first one and you can see the second one is the color space so uh, i saw most of the time when we are uh, using let's see what we have inside then we will talk about you can see the in the first plate itself so always uh check the plate and check the plate metadata is there any information about color space or not if you are download if you download the plate from the internet just for your practice purpose then it should be srgb or x09 and if you are download a stock footage from from some website then obviously it will be rex09 and uh, srgb so always check these things so when adding a 2d element uh, you can see the so in this situation we need to check the whatever the element we are adding to check uh, the color space then it will behave properly in, in our comp like fire blood and smoke that we are adding so uh, always check, check color space of that uh, particular plate now the next thing obviously is the edges and let's open this one and see what we have obviously we need to check the black edge and white edge so this is mainly when we're doing doing a king so i will show you here so you can see i have this comp here and if i zoom in a bit now you're not gonna see much difference because already done it very well you can see i have a few backgrounds here change the background let's use this white one we get this weird edge here if i cycle through so in the checkerboard it will look good but zoom in you can see you get this dark edge here so we need to deal with that toggle between the different color you're not gonna see because they are too bright when checking with checkerboard and with checking with white constant you can easily see the edge issues so make sure you check those so this is the point for uh, this uh, edge edge thing and the motion bar edge obviously uh, this is the same thing we need to check the motion bar edge uh, is it getting uh, some issue or not and the edge artifact edge artifact is basically like this is the same thing you can see this this edge is not is not constant you can see it the black and you can also see the color here because this plate have a chromatic abrasion when you see it's, it's not proper it's jagged edge so we need to check that whether it's matching or not with the plate the edge artifact and now when you're doing qc also you have to check the light shadow and color so let's open this and see what we have inside obviously when you are uh, comping anything like in this situation uh, we have this plate and we need to match with the background in this situation we need to we have two options either we match the background with plate or plate with background in the both situation always make sure you are matching with plate or matching with the reference whatever they provided to you and whatever they are telling to you match with the reference or match with the plate itself light shadow and color and obviously the next thing we need to match the black level so match with the plate obviously if you are adding anything like this thing so we need to match 
with the plate whatever the plate we see this black thing we need to match it here exactly so this is this and the next thing is for the cg so match with the reference so you can see if i open this one so this is the shot i have uh, in this one there is no plate it's a full cg shot so that time uh, what we need to do we need to take some reference or uh, in between shot if this shot is from one of the sequence then it then we need to check surrounding shots how the black level is and then we need to match with the reference whatever they are provided and make sure your black should not be dark super dark obviously if i do a, if i do a gamma you can see in the shape everywhere you're not gonna see any uh, deeper black you can see this thing also it's very uh lifted one so why we are doing this because in reality uh, there is nothing pure black you can always uh, lift a gamma and check if you have anything uh, deeper black make sure you don't have a deeper black in your full cg shot and when comping a shot make sure you match the black level with the plate now the next thing is the perspective and scale so this is mostly so open it and make sure when comping a 2d elements any cg double check the scale and the perspective this is very important what happens sometimes when we are uh, using any uh, element and fire or anything to add in our com make sure you check the perspective and the scale of the element also because uh, the scaling is very important what, what i mean by that scaling uh, whether that fire or smoke is very uh, big scale or a small scale uh, fire just like the candle candle is very small scale fire right and the explosion explosion is a very big uh, scale of fire that we need to check and the scale also so this is mostly when we adding a 2d element so this scale and perspective is mostly for 2d elements because when we uh, using a cg in the plate it's already rendered properly and it's also very important when we doing a king shot like this so this is the uh, thing and we need to check the plate so this is the scale level of this plate the camera and all those things so based on that we need to add a proper background in this one now the next one is the motion blur and depth of field so this is very important let's first see the motion blur thing let's open this one and let's see what we have so match motion blur with the plate so same as thing we need to match whatever the motion blur we see in the plate or we don't have a motion blur uh, like if you are doing cg just like we have full cg then we need to uh, simulate the real camera motion blur and how to do here you can see uh, if i zoom in a bit to simulate a real camera motion blur we need to uh, set the shutter speed properly and the amount so in the new we have to do we need to make a motion channel and then we need to set this thing in this situation i have this full cg comp here and show you the actual frame where we see the motion blur so yeah this frame is very good to uh, show you the point so you can see this is the thing and in this one in the motion blur 2d what i set it here is the 0.5 shutter speed and make sure the shutter offset is center this is very important and in the vector blur also we need to uh, do the same thing you can see the this is by default amount i think everything is by default but just make sure you do that the motion blur amount is one if you need you can increase it but one is fine you can see the two is very high so i keep it one you need to uh, check the amount and the offset in the motion bar uh, 2d or 3d whatever you're going to add make sure you set the uh, motion channel and shutter is 0.5 and shutter offset is center by default i think it's start but make sure you set in a center you can see the difference here if i set this to start so center is the most realistic way of adding a motion bar add a motion bar from the center and it will extend both sides this is the motion bar thing so now uh, let's see the depth of so the similar way uh, the depth of it also we need to match with the plate or if we have cg then we need to simulate uh, the depth of field it's not like just adding a depth of field node and just blurring the amount uh, then, and just increasing the uh, defocus amount we need to use a kernel like bokeh it will look correct so these are the filters so you can see it's defocusing but you can see the textures easily see the texture you can see this pattern it's not like flat thing so this is very important uh, in this one if you do by default you get this kind of circle shape we actually need uh, this kind of detail you can see in this one not a circular it's not a flat shape have a nice detail in the bokeh this is okay thing you need to match you can use a have a mini filter tool available in the internet i will uh, drop a link so you can check those and you can download if you don't have one now uh, let's see the tracking while doing a qc you need you also need to check whether your tracking is good or not so if i open this thing so make sure to check in stabilize mode so what i mean by that let's open this one and see so uh, this is the stabilize, stabilize mode whenever you're doing a 2d tracking make sure you uh, instead of doing a match move make sure you do a stabilize and check if your track is moving or is just doing some weird stuff then you need to check your track and you need to adjust your track so the stabilize thing is very very good and the same way you can do in a if you did a camera track that time you also use uv space and do the stabilize or if you don't know you can just uh, use a uv and you can use card or, or something then you can check if you are doing a projection that time you can just 
set this to uv and you can check your is it uh, sliding or not good way of uh, checking your drag using a uv space and the similar way when we're doing all these things we need to check the filtering so let's open this thing and see what we have so make sure to check the filter modes in the transform corner pin scanner render ln distortion etc so all the transformation what we're doing we need to check the filtering so what happens sometimes when we adding out too much filtering and we do a concatenation that time we are losing the quality of the plate or our cg is getting very soft so make sure you do that let's see what we have we can see with there is a point let's open this one so this is the thing this is the filter mode so by default it's set cubic and and the cubic is working fine in most of the cases but make sure you double check this one check negative values caused by the filter mode this is also uh, check negative values uh, caused by the filter mode so what happens sometimes we are changing this filter mode because the cubic is uh, giving a very soft look most of the time we are keeping this but sometimes we need to change we need a little bit of scaling thing then we are changing this to filter mode let's open this one when we change the when we change that thing we get uh, some negative values you can see here if i sample some area we get these negative values then we need to solve this thing to solve this we need to use like expression node and we can put this value here i can zoom in and so you can just copy paste this, these values in your expression so this is very 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 useful so uh let's see in action let me show you this form so in this one what we have i have this to transform here so if i to open this transform because in this transform i did a little bit of scaling in this one i set it by default it's a cubic so i'm going to set this to length of six let's see because this this one is very sharp and you can see if i just toggle this cubic and this you can see it's getting more darker and sometimes uh, these things are getting in negative zone so these uh, black pixel you can see here as of now they are not going but sometimes they are going so to prevent that what we can do we can use a uh, lock to lin this node so just plug this here and set this to lin to lock copy paste this one and place it after your transformation done and in this one just revert back to lock to lin so uh, when we're doing these things we don't get uh, this dark pixel you can see they are gone and we don't get any negative value because of the transformation sometimes we are getting but in in this case we are not getting because there is no pre and it's already done so when you're doing this transformation in between here somewhere that time you will face this issue so it's better to use lock to lean here like this or you can use uh, just like i show you here you can use uh, this thing also and make sure to check the softness of the image match with plate so this is very important if you're doing this kind of shot like king shot and we're adding uh, some background and then we are just adding this transformation and we are just scaling this thing like this the so checkerboard like this and we are just scaling this thing a lot and you see it's getting a uh, very soft so that time we can change this to filter mode to uh, some other filters you can see we're getting some negative values here most of the time you can use this impulse also because do, do nicely but we are not doing this this is like a one or two and this is in between so make sure you uh, when you're doing a scaling always as i said use a uh, lock to lean in between and then you can do a uh, scaling it will it will not gonna give you this kind of issue when you're doing a scaling and try to do um, uh, as minimum scaling as possible because otherwise uh, it will look very soft let's open this one let's see what we have if you are matching uh, the softness with the plate then you need to use this note use blur note softness or defocus to match with the plate uh, let's see so in this situation i just have this checkerboard so if i zoom in a bit you can see how soft this guy is come here i can just remove this node so i want to match the softness i can use a blur node use a one value maybe two and i think it's looking good so i think in this situation i can just uh, do a 2.5 like this and now it's looking very good let's compare with the plate so this is the plate and we can see the softness here we need to sample this the blur amount you can see how blurry this is so we need to match the softness from this element so i will keep this as 1.5 and i think this is pretty good enough match the softness with the plate don't uh, leave it like this sharp it will look good so now moving on crop and bounding box this is the biggest uh, self qc you have to check while you're comping and after you rendering your final output okay while you're comping make sure you set your b box to whatever the bounding box you have make sure your pixel not getting over your uh, scan let's see the crop so the crop check the crop shoe sometimes we can see one pixel or more crop so then it will not gonna match with the plate so what i mean by that let's open this one and let's see so sometimes uh, this cropping is not matching with the plate so if i open this one now it's matching with the plate sometimes we we have a uh, extra crop so that time we need to reveal that one pixel and then it will match with the plate when we sampling this thing it's very uh, minor but 
it is uh, come in us when we doing a tech check so that time you need to check this thing also all right and sometimes in the comp when we see the dark or white line because of the crop issue so double check that so what is this i will show you so as you can see i have this uh, render here and i'm just blurring this thing i'm doing a uh, proper blur right but you can see the edges let me zoom in a bit you can see these edges are getting darker so if i just increase or decrease the amount you will see this darker area you can see it's increasing a lot so this is because of the cropping issue so how you can use the crop you can just add a crop and you can just remove uh, you can uncheck the black outside and once you do you can see it's doing a proper blur and we're not getting any issue like this so this is the another example of showing you the actual issue what i just talk about here so this one the white line and we getting this issue so this is the another example this is the thing and we added a nice crop here but when we adding a light up or something we get this issue we only need a here we don't need here so when we plusing this one getting this white edge if i show you this comb here we don't have and here only we see this area in the edge we're not seeing anything so how to solve this one if you facing this kind of issue what you need to do you just need to uh, if you have a crop or if you don't have a crop just add a crop here and make sure it's set in this place and you can see you get extra one pixel just remove this thing and when you view you can see it's gone this black outside is very very important you need to uh, whether it's required or not by on this one you get this whitish and you don't then it's look good always uh, add crop node and reformat at the end of the script to remove the extra bounding box so make sure you do that also remove extra crop issue or if you have any reformat issue just add a crop and reformat at the end when you are rendering all right so this is the crop let's check the bounding box let's open the bounding box also when comping a shot always check a b box use crop node or use merge b box option so everyone knows the crop the crop node i will show you the merge b box option this is the merge and i'm merging uh, these two layers here so this is uh, this one and this is some other missile layer so you can see i already have this crop here this bounding box you can see it's going outside of the frame of this missile in my b pipe it's not going outside so when you merging you can see we get extra bounding box if you need you can keep like this or if you don't want uh, you don't need to add a crop here in the in the merge property there is a set b box option you can set your b and it will remove so if i set this to a it will keep the a but it will give you this result so by default it's a union you can use if you need that bonding box in the end of the script when you're adding a lens distortion that time you can use these extra pixels here otherwise you can set to b and it will kill everything outside so let's see what i am saying here yeah see the same thing i i was just talking about use this set b box option in the merge now moving on to the lens distortion so this is very interesting let's open this one and let's see what we have so make sure you add lens distortion at the end of the script before grain so always do that if you have a lens distortion you can add before grain or if you don't have you just you can leave it and make sure to check the filter mode and the avoid negative value so sometimes the same thing i just told you the uh, before make sure to check the filter mode because it's giving you some uh, negative value you can add lock to lin then you can uh, remove that extra darkness or extra negative value if you get from caused by the filter mode all right so now moving on to the mat so what i what what is this so mat is basically like we are giving a di mat recently i made a tutorial about di mat but this is a qc level so make sure to add a di mat if required use rgb a layer so make sure to use all four channels when you adding a di mat and the next thing is to make sure to check di mat holdout so i will show you what this means so let's open this one and this is the shot and you can see i added one two three four five five di mats i have added it's need to be proper holdout so uh, we will see how to do a holdout and let's see the sec second point make sure to check di mat using grade node so we will see both of the point together let's open this thing and like this way we have to check the di mat is correct or not let's jump into nook and i will show you how to do you can see this is the comp and if i go and end of the script where we are merging with the plate let's view it here go back to the first frame see we have these three and if i show you so you can see i have some di mat here this is our shape and all those things but what happens sometimes you can see it's properly hold out in the water layer itself but sometimes it's not uh, doing that so you can see i here i added these two layers here 
so let me open this one you can see now doing a proper holdout so i'm basically doing a using a multiply node i am using my ship channel view it here you can see i'm basically holdouting using another dm at layer why i'm doing this one because just like i show you can use a grade node let's use here use a grade node just connect here so in the grid make sure you select uh, your rgb layer and in the mask you can set your whatever dm you need so in this case i am setting the ship this is the ship layer and let's view the rgb from here just in your gain just click this four dot and you can just increase some value like 11 for this one now you can see the how dm is affecting and make sure you check the holdout so i just remove this holdout what i did here using multiply you can see it's not properly doing right you can see after it's doing a proper job so if i move few frames doing properly now see before it's not correct we need to hold out the water otherwise what we whatever grading we do it will also affect the water layer this is the correct way and you need to give it like this so make sure you do a proper holdout for all the layers before you you know submitting your shot and you can check like this you can use a red channel here also so you can check like this and you can use other layers also we have a explosion also right so to check which layer we put it the explosion or few frames where we see the explosion you can see this is the explosion we added and this is the dm at for that explosion same for the ocean layer where we see the water so i think this is the water layer so this is the water layer and make sure it's hold out nicely you can see it's properly hold outing and we are not affecting the ship so this is the way you can check your dm at using a grade node all right output compare with plate so make sure whenever you are doing uh, you have to compare output with the plate always compare with the plate to check how much change you did make sure do not change anything in the plate this is not for the this full cg one this is is more suitable when you're doing a king shot when you're doing a king shot always do compare your final output and whatever the king shot we have and make sure you do not change anything in the plate like this see here only the display is changing nothing else so make sure you do not change anything so what happens sometimes uh, let's see this is the final cop and sometimes we added uh, some transformation here like let me just quickly show you you will see like yeah this much let's add a one pixel blur okay just to show you the point I added this much and you can see it's not matching if i zoom in a bit you can see i think it's very less let's increase the amount maybe 1.5 now you can see it's not matching but if we look from this distance it's not visible but we have to zoom in a bit to uh, see the change what we did so that's why it's very 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 important uh, to check whether we added a filtering or not when comparing nothing should change in the plate so if they tell you to change the color all those things then it's a totally different thing so otherwise you have to check the all the edges make sure the edges also look same as plate this is the thing you need to check now we are uh, at the end so let's see the all those points so super wide pixel let's open this one and make sure to check super high bright pixel in the shot so if i open this one so this is the thing i want to show you you can see sometime in the frame you can see this one tiny pixel and if you export down it will still looking bright if i come to the comp i created this issue just to show you the point I created the issue just to show you the point you can see uh, in this frame if I zoom in like this you can see this one tiny pixel and it's very random it will appear somewhere in the in your comp so if I expose down you can still see it's very bright in the frame you can see it here if I do uh, more but you can still see this dot is just one pixel and if, if I sample the value here you can see it's very high so in this situation make sure you uh, remove those points here whatever you're seeing in the frame so make sure you check where it is coming from your script and you can just remove that point uh, now the most obvious thing the nand pixel the negative and the highlight clamp in the grain and the short continuity so let's see the nand pixel let's open this thing so always check nand pixel in the comps you may see you may say why this happen uh, this is maybe the pix uh, maybe the filtering and maybe some grading and some other artifacts that's why it's causing this uh, nand issue so if i open this one and make sure to remove it before you publish the shot for review obviously so let's open this one so this is a nan if you sample this one you see this nan 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 in rgba let me show you so in this comp i created our nan pixel to identify where the nan pixel is what you can do you can use a blur node and you can just connect in your comp when you add a blur you can see if you have a nan, nan pixel it will appear like this one it will automatically increase the size sample you can see in the bottom is saying nan but it will get bigger 
if you do more it will blur it will increase his size so this is the best way you can identify yeah i have a nine pixel here so you can just zoom in a bit and you can see this and to remove this nine pixel you can use uh, any nine killer so i have this nine killer here i'm just plugging this one and uh, i want a uh, blur and pre -melt and you can see it's removed so you can use a uh, nan killer to remove uh, the nan pixel a similar way we get a negative pixel value for this one this is very important to check is there any negative pixel in the comp if you have this pixel you, you will see value going in a negative direction let's see in the comp itself so uh, the similar way if i just remove these things add this great i just added to show you the negative value so if i zoom in a bit you can see maybe this is your look but when you sometimes select the value we see the value is going in negative direction so that means uh, you have a uh, negative values or sometimes you get a negative value somewhere here you have two options uh, that time you can just you know clamp this thing add a uh, clamp the value is not going in a negative direction now it's clamped to uh, 0 and 1 you can use these things or you can use a uh, we can also use uh, this expression what i created called uh, the clam negative and you can see uh, these are the values here these are the values in in the rgba you can just copy paste and you get your expression so this is the value you can put the value is not going in a negative direction and it will look good if you are keeping this look and if you zoom in you can see it's also reducing the extra darkness caused by the negative value so it's basically removing and if you want this look it will maintain the next thing is the highlight clamp so this is very very important so let's open this one and in your comp if you have a very bright thing or you added a element in okay uh, in in my case i added a sun and make sure to check the highlight value so let's open this one if your highlight is clamp it will look like this if you if your highlight is not clamp it will look very nice and bright like this uh, so this is when we are doing a exposure down so let me show you all right so uh, let's see the highlight clamp reduce the exposure down first you can see i'm just sampling this value and you can see it's very high so what i did i added a clamp here and you can see i'm just clamping the highlight how much i want let's see i clamp it on uh, 200 let's uh, increase the amount maybe 500 so i can keep this like 500 okay maybe this is my best one so when, whenever you you do expose down you should see the entire sun or maybe if i let put this to maybe 10 sometimes you will see your sun like this when you do a normal exposure you're not gonna see much difference you can see and i'm not seeing any any change but if i on it's still not gonna see so when you do a expose down like this that time you see yeah the, this thing is clipping we need to see where and why it's clipping sometimes it's uh, other way around you have a very bright cell you can see if i sample this one it's too bright so i can just add a clamp and i can just reduce like maybe let's see find it and i think this is very reasonable value so if i sample this value you can see the it's going 500 and i think it's pretty good even you can't notice here so after these things you're not gonna see any change and then we're doing our uh, other comp stuff here like this so make sure you always check if the value is clamping or if the value is going too high make sure you uh, reduce the value using uh, this clamp note using this clamp node or you can use uh, the called clamp the white soft clamp this is also very good this is uh, made by tony so this tool is also very good if i do expose down you can see it's clamping very soft way like this but i think we can increase the range so we get the uh, sun back so let maybe 200 so i'm clamping the value in a 200 and you can see the both are not the same you can see in the in the clamp you get this bright thing and in this one we are getting very soft range you can see that's why it's named white soft clamp so it's very soft the fall off is very soft and in this one we have many options like uh, screen the high port and you can see the uh, this thing is changing and you can control the fall off amount here it's a very very nice uh, restore all those things you can see just experiment and see which one is giving you the best result now the second last is the grain obviously we need to match the grain with the plate if they are provided and check the grain pattern so sometimes what happens you need to check the grain quality if uh, whether your grain is correct or not when we are adding a full cg comp then in this situation what i did i just added uh, this uh, luma picture grain but if you are comping a plate make sure you check the grain and make sure you check the pattern which need to match with the plate you can see in this situation i degrain everything and i will add a dark grain here in this comp i added a dark grain let's compare uh, with the plate so this is the uh, comp and this is the grain 
green plate you can see here it's not changing and in the background also it's not changing that much but you can see some issues there because we are just adding a grain directly from the plate in the dark grade we need to use uh, what you called uh, this uh, scattering feature so let's enable this one and let's view the plate and we get this box let's place this box somewhere here so we get a uh, even looking grain maybe this area is fine i guess let's see okay we are placing here and now when we see we see the grain the grain will not gonna match but we need to check the grain pattern and how it's looking so in the dark grain when you open in the replace tab you can use this cell pattern so this will uh, show you the cell size it will scattering that uh, what we sample the grain it is, it is scattering all over the place if we have very like small pattern then i think we can see that grain issue uh, let's you see the edge blend and it will blending the edge so all the things you need to check so sometimes we see that pattern shape this is this pattern shape i'm talking about so make sure you check that uh, is visible or not or if it's visible then just change the cell size and the amplitude and frequency all those things are there and the last thing you need to check the short continuity check the surrounding shots as the reference to match in continuity play this is just a one shot but imagine we have a mini shot in different different angle based on the story and based on the film so we need to match the match the look whatever look we did in the background it should match continuity wise so based on that you need to do some adjustment as of now we discuss everything about self qc we can see we talk about this much in the list so from creating a project to adding a grain and a short continuity so this much we talk about uh, now i will uh, show you some practical use i will uh, refine my shot i'm using uh, this shot so in this one i will first go yeah my project settings are good and the color space also good and because it's a full cg i don't have any edge issues a light shadow i already matched with the reference which i provided the black level also very good the perspective scale is fine because it's a full cg and the motion blur i already matched with the plate and these things and the yeah, motion blur and the profile i already match with the plate i already match uh, with the real camera motion blur i'm i didn't add the uh, defocus because in my shot i don't have anything and uh, the next th next thing is the tracking so it's a full cg so i don't have any tracking issues the filtering i need to check the filtering because i feel like my shot is little bit too soft if i zoom in a bit you can see in the first frame how soft this is if i view from here and if i view the original cg render so always check that so this is a slap comp here so let's view that slap comp you can see how sharp this is even it's looking weird but you can still see the detail so i need to check what happened in the comp till here everything is looking good we see the sharpness and all those things so even if the this thing is merging with the background looking good lens flare then also is looking good adding these things is fine till here everything is fine and if i view it from here now you can see it's getting too soft first i added this the uh, lock tool in it's getting soft but that's fine then i added a camera shake then i did a reformat and then this thing so you can see uh, in the first frame it's not adding any motion blur but still we are seeing this softness and the main culprit is uh, this soft line on of this one you can see we don't see any softness so this is the first frame there is no motion blur but if you enable if i think this is by default it's on it's adding extra softness i don't know why so make sure you off this thing if you go down let's compare uh, with this with the output you can see how much uh, sharpness we retain just by doing this thing and i already have a uh, defocus and all those things that's why you can see here how much sharpness we are retaining i hope you can see so uh, this is the best way you have to check the filtering first the cropping issue i already saw this one the lens distortion i uh, think i didn't add the lens distortion so the mat i already added dm mat so you can see these pictures here so dm mat is already there i don't have a plate so i can't compare with the output with the plate these things i already saw in the nine killer already saw the negative value already saw the highlight thing i already did it i clamp it my highlight till here so i am not seeing this thing i'm seeing only this bright thing uh, the next is the grain so i think i need to check the grain grain is the last thing everything is above i need to check in my uh, comp where i place the grain i place the grain uh, here so yeah lens distortion is here and then vignetting then grain and after the grain i did a transformation then so that means it's a wrong move so we need to move this and we need to place it in the last this is the last stage we need to do and i think we need to uh, we need to remove these things also because 
it's not correct we need to move this first whatever the transformation we have to do we have to do it here and then we can add the lane distortion the vignetting and the grain so this is the correct way but i guess you can see it's stretching here so that's why i think i added uh, this uh, this thing so i think what we can do we can just use the lane distortion first and the transformation and the reformat the, but the vignetting and this thing need to be here so what we can do we can use the use this thing i think we can use like this and like this so we get this thing lane distortion this thing then we are cropping in the end then we are adding a grain this will be like this so this grain is the last everything above is what you are doing so this is the correct way and now if i compare this with this you will see some difference in the grain you can see so previously uh, i can show you the result because of the transformation the grain is getting uh, blurry so if i compare if i just add a wipe now you will you will see the difference in the grain i hope you can see the difference so this is what we had and this is the previous one because of the transformation the filtering what we have here the cubic one the grain is completely destroyed by the filtering and now we don't have filtering we added the grain in the end you can see here now you can see the difference we get more grain here instead of this shot it's looking blurry and here we see the sharpness also so if i wipe you can see the difference i fixed the filtering i fixed the grain in my comp and it's looking good and the short continuity i don't have a short continuity it's just a one shot i did a every checklist here and now i have a very nice comp at the end if you need this graph i will put a image so you can uh, i will see whether you can download this or not or i will provide all those points in the video description so you can check and experiment so this is the way you can do uh, your qc and this is the way i fix it this shot so you can see the now is more sharper than the previous time than the previous one it's looking more sharper and very very nice looking you get a proper grain also so if i zoom in you can see so this is the previous grain and this is the current one you can see previous one is not that much sharp and now is very sharp and very crisp this is the self qc so make sure you do the self qc before you know publishing the shot for review and to get a feedback from someone make sure you do that and make sure check the cropping all those things so these are the things i want to share with you uh, i think this tutorial is going to be very long it's very necessary to talk about these things when we uh, you know uh, rendering shot and while comping the shot we need to check all those things the negative values and the negative nan the negative value the nan pixel all those things are very common it will appear anywhere in your comp you just have to uh, aware of those things so uh, thank you for watching if you have any questions regarding these things you can just add your comment i will reply and let me know what you want to see in the next and as always we will see you in the very next one have a good day